have to allow individuals to have their own space. That's when we um, started looking at the tiny home concept. It's a, it's a space that is um, therapeutic for the individual that's returning, as well as giving them some um, sense of ownership. We had a great number of people returning over 55 and 60 you know, years old. These seniors can I not access some of these um, senior living apartment complexes or, or retirement spaces because of prior convictions. And a lot of them are currently, when they release, they're currently on probation parole for at least nine months. So with that, those restrictions, these individuals are returning homeless. So to bring it back in, this with AARP, this grant was to build and launch this first tiny home, but also allowed us to utilize those, utilize those plans to develop our own handicap accessible uh, ADA compliant units for one of these gentlemen that's in a wheelchair. He's been with us for like three years. Mr. Kevin, he'll be the first recipient of this home. And we have two more that AARP has challenged the community to come along us and build you know, advocacy for this population is not popular. And so for AARP to take the stance to, um, you know, to come aside and see people as human versus, you know, as whatever their title or, or uh, whatever label that's been placed upon them, but see people as human, a 73 year old man returning to society and um, needs medical care, needs a place to stay, a place where we would want to spend the, the last years of our life at, you know what I'm saying?